everybody and welcome back to my channel. Guess where? It is in Butlins. Yay! Back to Butlins. It's only a few nights though, so it's just a quick little getaway. Anyway, we're here. Um, I hadn't vlogged up until now because we had a little bit of a mission checking into our room and everything like that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I thought you were so brave to stay there. What a Well, that's why I didn't go. So yeah, basically, I didn't want to start the vlog until I got here, mainly because after traveling, my hair was sprouting and I looked really, really rough. So I didn't want to start it till now. I had to have a shower, I had to get cleaned up, and anyway, so here we are. So we're in this chicken restaurant. So basically, they serve just chicken and things like that. But they do do two cocktails for £10. We got out quite late as well. So I'm having a strawberry daiquiri. The food is here. Oh, lovely, that's just here. Beautiful. No, mine's vegan style. No, I know that, but I mean, it's the same thing. Oh, thank you very much. Right. Thank you. What have you got, Gabby? Um, Maybe it wasn't the barbecue one I ordered. Bumpies has seen the magic stuff. Look. Pete, what do you think? <coughs> he loves it. That's pretty cool, actually. Look at Bum. Bum. There's something very captivating by this. a massive fan of the food in there but I should have known that eating on a holiday park was never going to be amazing and it never is I'm so disappointed every time I eat on a holiday park I will never learn but you need to eat right so that's the way it goes from now on I'm going to invest in pot noodles and just have loads of pot noodles lined up in my room so I don't need to waste money on food because <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're probably a bit more nutritious to be honest what did you think of the meal? Honest. It was alright. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't. Yeah, like you say, when you when you hear about it, it says buttermilk chicken, you think it's up buttermilk. It sounds nice, but it really wasn't. Hold up, hold that thought. There's a cost of coffee. That's where I've got to get a cup of tea in the morning. So in the morning. We can't drink out of our kettle because it's vile. We asked for a replacement, got a replacement, and that's vile tea. So therefore, we need to invest in tea out. Tim was like, where am I going to get a cup of tea from? And I'm like, I don't know. It's got to be somewhere on site. And we've just found the solution. So this is actually a really nice <coughs> showroom. But it smells well, bad. It does smell a feet, but as far as function rooms go, or ballrooms, whatever you call them, this is really nice. It's got two floors. Very, very like. theatre style. So I'm assuming they've got a magician or something on tonight because they've got a lot of pops on the stage. But look, this is like up on two levels, which is pretty cool. We'd have a drink, but unfortunately, we've eaten. And me and Tim don't really like a drink after we've eaten. We're a bit odd like that. So, yeah, we're off to bed, good night. What we'd prefer is a cup of coffee or a cup of tea now. So we're just basically having a bit of a snoot around. Is that not the coolest play park slide you've ever seen in your life? I'm freezing though. I really want to get back to the room now and go and get tucked up in bed. I'm so cold. It's freezing, it's May, and I'm really, really cold. But we want to come down and see this at night time because it's really cool. It's like their new thing. And I'm seeing the slide and I'm like, that's insane. You know, I don't really think you realise how massive that is until you're actually in front of it. It's huge. What do you think of the slide, Fumpies? Is it good? Do you want to come? <coughs> that's what he thinks of the slide. So good morning to you all. This is the day after check-in. So obviously I didn't really film a lot last night because we were just sort of getting to grips with ourselves, but this is a brand new day, so that means I'll be vlogging pretty much all day for you all. Tim has arrived with 
a Costa coffee for me, as promised, which I'm really pleased about because the kettle is not in good working order. I mean, it works. It's a bit manky inside it. And we did get someone to switch it yesterday. And although they switched it, that was pretty manky too. So we've decided to ditch the whole kettle thing, not use it at all, and um, play it safe and just use Costa basically. Silly me, I've been looking around for the program, like where did you put it, where did you put it? And obviously just like Haven, there is no program, it is an app. So I'm gonna have to download the app and find out what's going on. But we do need to go and get breakfast first. And then after that, we're gonna get cracking. We're just gonna have a good day and just enjoy ourselves and take it from there. This is our room. It's literally just like a double bed, a little dressing table, a shower room, and there's like a twin room as well. So it's a mirror image of the master room, but just with twin beds basically. So if Holly had a wanted to come with us, there would have been somewhere for her to stay. It looks really nice from the outside, nice bit of cladding and everything. But then when you go in, it's a bit, eh, you know, it's really dated, does the job. And that's all I'm going to say about it. I don't particularly like it, but I'm not so snobby. I wouldn't stay in it, but it could be better. It smells of dogs as well. <laughs> nice bit of green outside as well, but they, they look all right. They just need a lick of paint basically, but I'm absolutely shattered. I had um, not much sleep. See, he's yawning away, Fumps is. It's all right for him because he can go to sleep in his pram, but I've got to stay awake. I'm so, so tired. Um, I slept funny on my neck, so my arm is like literally aching all down the right hand side of my body. That is just such a nuisance when you're trying to get on with the day. And we're going to go and do a live later from Skegness Seafront. So I'm just like trying to pull myself together still. Um, so we've had breakfast and I feel more tired since eating. So we've come back to the room, Tim's got to put his phone on charge. And then we are going to go and check some things out. I wanted to take Fumps to see the Peppa Pig show but I think we're about to miss that I don't think we've made it in time but we'll go see what's going on down there and I want to take him on some of the rides and peace no don't pull your socks off darling oh dear Bumps was walking around barefoot around the room last night his feet were jet black I don't know I suppose they can't shampoo after every single person's been in it Bumps go to the beach. So we could be in uh, Great Yarmouth right now. This actually does look like Great Yarmouth, I'm not you joking. Actually with the, uh, wind turbines, yeah, and with the dunes and the distance to the sea. But can you see in the distance, Cromer, Constantin is all over there showing up. Oh yeah, I wonder if we can zoom in on that. That is pretty, don't know if it's gonna show up on the camera though. It is there. Having a banana instead. Uh, it's a long walk to the sea. I'll, I'll take the banana. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Come on. So, we stayed in one of these with Holly when she was a little girl many, many moons ago. And do you know what? I actually, Tim doesn't agree, but I do. I preferred this accommodation to the accommodation that we've got now. 
inside from the outside it doesn't look as nice but inside it looks nicer so this sky park have they demolished chalets they must have done right because what was there before uh, i don't know i don't really know the park oh, that well uh, yeah i can understand that nobody really wants to play tennis on holiday it's too energetic isn't it hurts your wrist as well especially got a cheap racket how is your um shoulder now still achy my whole body is just, just my whole body's just genuinely no energy i'm hoping that the sun will give me some i'm desperate <laughs> i'm desperate for some energy this, this kid has kept me up all night anyway us, did show you the us. sky park you kept us up all night not just you us. us us sorry i left you out on that one but i showed you the sky park right last night yeah, the old chalet so let's go and have a little bitches at that actually and obviously now we're going to go to the sky park during the day this is how the chalets used to be. They've got one of these up near Richardson's in Hemsby. The richest one, the richest one, these are bigger and slightly better. Wow, well, Butlin's always was a little bit upper class at the time, wasn't it? See, look, there's the history behind it all. Oh my God, look inside there, it looks like a prison. <laughs> but back in the day, it was heaven, was it? Hang on, all I can see through the camera is you. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Hang on, gonna have to get really close. Can you see? Ah, yeah, just about. So you've got some bump beds, a chest of drawers, and a, a single bed. So where does mummy and daddy sleep? In the bump bed? Oh. So basically, if you wanted the bog, you'd have to go to the bog hut. Oh, there you go. That's a bit better. Because I put my hand in the way. Wooden floors. May I say that this chalet looks better than the one we've got now? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, the paint job's better. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Yeah, this weird feeling, this one, isn't it? Up. Someone's on a mission. Oh yeah! Hold tight to him, Tim. Tim, hold tight. Oh, he's a bit dubious about that. <laughs> So I mean, you have to be careful of his head because he's just on a mission. Oh, oh. and that's why it's great. God, that is You're super right, fast. <laughs> designed for adults, I tell you that. Kids, you mean? Yeah, it's not designed for adults. You mean kids? No, it's designed for kids because the spaces are so tight. <laughs> Watch his head on there, darling. <laughs> Touching the different colours. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> he 
He knows it's different. Yeah. <laughs> Is it different, Bumps? <laughs> We're having a quick lep, coffee lep, break. Lep, We've lep, been to the sky park lep, with Bumps. Lep, 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 and the problem lep, 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 is, it is an amazing park, but you are constantly having to chase your child around because lep, 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 lep. although it's soft on the ground, children, when they're running at Bumps' age, they're looking down at the ground. And there are things that they're sort of like head level that they could hit their heads on. So I'm just constantly running around after him. So even though I was shattered before, I'm even more shattered now. So I'm having a well-deserved coffee break. Luckily, the Sky Park Cafe do serve coffee. It's good they've got a cafe here, actually. But I must admit, it's a pretty amazing park. It is really cool. I'd say so far, this is the best feature of Balins. Wouldn't you, darling? Oh. Well, we haven't seen the PJ masks yet. We might change our minds once we've seen the PJ masks. Yes, I'm over here. I'm looking. She holds the camera in such a weird way. She does it. I'm looking forward to PJ masks. It's the best thing about the day. Do you but even know what even PJ masks is? Yeah, it's a cartoon. We don't even have the app, so we don't even know what time they start. It is a cartoon. I'm going to give you a point there. Maybe you should download the app so I'm going to know what time it is. I think it's half past three. I'm feeling a bit lazy today. appreciate your support Marie so thank you very much yeah thank you Marie. so should we start walking down this way yeah but before we walk oh, I okay, just want to say as well so I do apologize I'm holding you up Christine Parsons thank you for being a channel member for 14 months um, that is amazing but we're we're moving away or out of the town now Rachel this this is a Skegness legend If anyone's local, if, sorry, if anyone's familiar with me doing any Skegness videos. Thank you so much. Hi to McGabby. Can you say hi to Levi? Um, please. Hi to Levi. So good morning. Last night was an interesting one. We done the live from Skegness last night and um, we had a couple of people join us. So it was a little bit hectic, a little bit wild, but we done it, we got through it. My battery went dead halfway through, so therefore I couldn't vlog for the, for the rest of the evening. So, but we didn't really do anything anyway. We had a Mackie D's, which was pretty standard for us. Um, after going for a glass of wine with um, the couple of people that did join us. So we had a glass of wine with them and then we just came back and had an early night. So there wasn't really anything to catch up on, but today's another day. We've already been into Skegness and we've had breakfast and had a Costa coffee, but now we're back on the park and there's a couple of things that we want to do. Bumps has gone to sleep, but wanted to have a look around the fun fair. We're meant to do it yesterday, didn't get round to it, but we're going to do it now, have a look around there and, and just generally have another nosy around the park really. Bump is just going on the carousel. He's never been on a carousel before. Because he's so little, he's only allowed to ride in this. But that's fine, we don't mind. We don't want to put him on the horse, obviously. They just well, not we? the horse. Where are we, darling? Look, he has just woke up, so he's a little bit um, tired and out of sorts. So he probably doesn't even know where he is right now. I'm glad to be on this ride for the rest, man. <sighs> it's relaxing. So there's the fun fair. You can see like the little parasols in the distance. They're going round and round and round. There's a choo-choo train over there. We'll take pumps on that. But this is not the little play park for the little little kids, is it, Tim? This is for the kind of the bigger kids. So we've got to take him to the little one. If we, don't start day move, today. if we don't start moving soon, he's going to try and get off. He's going to get aggy. Bubs don't like being still for too long, does he, Daddy? 
It's a beautiful day today, but when you're in the wind, it's still really, really cold. Luckily, that didn't last very long. It's always a good thing when it's a spinny ride. Now, we need to get back to the pram and pray nobody has stolen the bag that's attached. Did you like it, fam? Was it good? I didn't really think he had any emotion on that, you know. Nothing. He didn't smile, he weren't excited. It was just a blank old ride. I think for him, it was just like being in a car. It didn't bother him. Yeah, same kind of speed. In fact, I think that a car is a little bit more thrilling. <laughs> well, it sends him to sleep. Be all right when he gets older and can go on a horse, Stop, I reckon. You've got to wait until the ride is completely oh. stopped. Yes, yeah. wait till it stops. He's bored. Yeah, me too. <laughs> He's not the only one. I'll tell you what, as an adult, that is the most... Nap so, ride. Because you know, when, when you were a kid, you go on the horses, sit on yeah. these and point horse. Yeah, you might as well be on that bench over there, mightn't you? And you know what? You can sit on a bench for free. We didn't have to pay for this, but if you were at the seafront, you would. Actually allowed in there, so it's uh, he's 15 months. Apparently, he's allowed. He's, 16 months. So he's 16. He's 16 months. He's safe in there. But he's allowed. Here he comes. He's driving the car. Oh my god, my heart completely melted. Fumps had his first ride on his own. We so thought cute. we thought we were gonna have to go with him, and they said no, you can't. And we were like, but he's never been on a ride on his own, but he was nice and tight <laughs> he in loved there. It. Yeah, he had like a seatbelt round and he was nice and tight. And when it first started, it did sort of jolt a little bit and he was a bit startled, but after that he was absolutely loving it. So oh my god, it totally melted my heart. As a mother. You'd know what I mean, right? When your child goes on a ride on their own for the first time. It's like a big step. It's like when they walk for the first time or say their first words or go to school for the first time, yes. which we haven't obviously come to yet. yet not this yet. This was an important thing. Yes. He loved it and he was fine. He oh, was what a moment. And we caught it all on camera. I didn't think he wanted to get off. I know. We're going to take him back in a little while and we're going to go on the ladybirds. So we've made it into the Skyline Pavilion just in time for the puppet show. Where am I pointing? I'm pointing this way. This is where we're doing the puppet show. And I don't know how well Bumps is gonna sit through this, but we'll find out. He's either gonna really like it or get really restless, but we'll give it a whirl. Because if we give it a whirl and he likes it, it means mummy has a break. Should we see what it's like? Yeah?
So this is our last evening. We were gonna stay an extra night, but I do have to get back a day early because I've got a lot of work going on this weekend. So it's the last evening. We've decided that we're gonna to go to the, the jellyfish bar, yeah. No? Unless it's in the pram. So Tim's just had to jump through the window because he left the key inside and it's one of those doors that when you pull it to, Hello, Pop-Pops. Hi. Yeah, it's one of those doors that when you pull it to, if you haven't got your key, you're like literally in trouble. But Tim left the window slightly open and he had to climb through. This is the second time it's happened as well. He's had to climb through the window twice. So it's becoming a little bit of a habit. Um, I think we need to, you know, try and get a bit more organised with this key. So anyway, last evening. So the plan is... Maybe it's in the baby pram. Is it in the pram? Oh dear, Fumpies. What about in your jeans, in your back pocket? Back pocket? Oh man. He's just got him through the window and can't find it. You haven't put it in with your phone, have you? I'm definitely blaming Tim for this because he's the one that's in control of the key. Why is it always up to me anyway? Why don't you look up? Because you start off with it and then you put it in like a sacred place and then I nobody else can find it. Place. I don't put it in a sacred place. Yes, you do. And then nobody else can find it. So where did you put it? And then, it's my, then it becomes my fault. So, like I was saying... We're heading to the Jellyfish Lounge because we're going to go and have a nice drink before we have some food, but we need to find out what time there is an Italian restaurant on site. It's probably not an Italian restaurant. It's probably a restaurant that serves Italian microwave meals. But either way, that's where we're going to go because we need to have a little bit of a change because we went to the chicken place. And to be fair, it's either that or burgers. And I've had my fair share of McDonald's on this uh, three day break so I don't the last thing I want is another Big Mac to be honest so I'm having a break from that so we're going to go and check out these microwave Italian meals but find out what time it closes but not before we have um, a couple of drinks at the bar because it has been a really busy day today Tim's done a lot of filming and do I need an excuse really I'm having one have you got it <coughs> Have you got it? I'm here. <laughs> I love it when I can put it in his mouth. He just goes, chomp. He just doesn't. He doesn't question. He just goes, thanks, buddy. What a beautiful <laughs> evening. Do you know what? Actually, for the past three days, we've had non-stop sunshine we've and blue lucky. sky in Skegness, which and some amazing sunset. Although last night we didn't get a great sunset, which is really typical. No. It clouded over late. I'm glad I brought my cardi out though, because it's a bit chilly. talk in the video about the smell that comes from center stage and how come nobody else notices it are we the only people because it reeks and you i've got a sensitive nose and notice smells you who don't noticed it which is a big deal i can smell toffee apples and that smells so nice that, that smells, smells like so nice. that smells like holiday doesn't it toffee apples does it yeah <laughs> Here we are, here we are, in the jellyfish. Why are you doing that? 
I'm trying to be uh, arty. Yeah, and I was trying to be arty, but I wait for my hand. Seriously though, the wine here, this is my first glass. Frank. I'm not a wine connoisseur, but that's like the, this is a house wine. We were thinking that we might go over that table over there and pick up the vinegar bottle because someone's having some chips, undo it and tip it in our glasses because it might be an improvement on the wine we've already got. Are you thinking the same? Are we in sync with this? I'm thinking every time I take a sip, I feel sick. I'll drink it for you. No, like, what is it with holiday parks and cheap food and drinks? Like, just... No, but they charge people, a premium that's for what I'm it. Saying. If people are paying the money, just give them what they should have. Like, did you ask what that was? A shrug or a No, I just said house. So they gave us vinegar. House vinegar. They've got, like, um, in this um, skyline, which is like where the jellyfish bar is, etc, etc, and everything else that's like kid central. They've got a stage and all the kids are doing all the party dances here. And the dance floor is absolutely rammed. It's like pure kiddie sweat going on and feet and everything all on the dance floor. It's like sardines in a tin. Basically, if Bumps wanted to go on this dance floor, he's got no chance of getting on it whatsoever. And you know what Bumps is like, he's always on a bit of a mission, so he's not going to be playing. I don't know why they don't do the kiddies dances in the ballroom, really, and why it's in the ballroom. Ballroom? You know, the How big How old room. are you, ballroom? What do you call it? Well, they don't have... Look, compared to Haven or Park Dean, Buttons don't have one particular room. They use that stage for the stuff that you'd get probably at Haven, but the other stages are for the shows. Show Set the only. stage for a big show, oh. and then Reds for you know a bit more fun and all that. Yeah, but they've got a bigger dance floor in there, so when they've got like a massive kick, they can all go crazy on a bigger dance floor, right? What do you think? couple of days obviously I couldn't film in the restaurant last night because we never ended up eating in the restaurant do you know where we went Burger King that's just what I needed another burger so I'm all burgered out so I'm going on a bit of a diet now it was a great couple of days really we really really enjoyed it if you've enjoyed this vlog then please give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell and now I'm gonna chill out have a nice bath put my feet up and have a cup of tea. It's great to be home. But mind you, I've moaned about Butlins, but I can't wait to go back either. Take care, see you next time.